Okay, so, well, I might be wrong too. You might not have survival running, but that's what I suspect is going on. So let's go have a play. Okay, so, hold up for me. Yeah, so that says, yep, your adrenals are a bit ca cactus again. And hold, that's okay, that's survival switching. And hold, that's okay, that's deep survival. And hold, and that one's the hidden deep. So you've got hidden deep survival, so your body's even trying to hide your survival pattern from yourself. So let's ask in relation to any and all issues associated with going to hospital. Just to make sure. Hold. 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 Okay, there was an energy mismatch to something in hospital. So something they did didn't match with your frequency. I'm sure your frequency went kicking and hollering and wishing you weren't going. Any and all issues around going to the hospital and hold and um, any and all residual survival stuff after Walter's treatment and hold 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 Right, so again, an energy mismatch about something with Walter's treatment. And once again, when we've been hiding this stuff away for decades and decades, it's no surprise. Okay. So that would fit with me straining to heal him and understand what he's saying about it. And obviously quite a different process to what you're used to as well, I would imagine. Yes. Residual issues after Walter's treatment. And hold, beautiful. Now I'll just double check, hold, still survival's okay, hold, deep survival's still okay, and hold, and hidden deep survival is still in there. Okay, I was just making sure that hadn't added another layer. So I think what we also need to do is check your etheric immune system. Hold. What? Etheric. Feel that? Yeah. So that's outside your body. Yeah. So basically the stuff out here yeah. is affecting your body. So I need to wake up your etheric immune system away from the body. So you're more likely to right. be able to cope with the crap right. out there. Right. Yeah, and the reason I did that is that when I went into your survival pattern, there's a whole bunch of senses that are overloaded, and it was your sixth sense that was overloaded. 
So then you think about these dreams you've been having. So your sixth sense is working its took us off at the moment. Okay, so the first little area is the cerebellar vermis. It's a part of the brain where when what's going on doesn't match how we're feeling. And we're sort of like, this is weird. I've yes. been doing the right thing. I'm, yes. you know, and I feel like crap. You know, why is it? So yeah, uh, Pons GB15, CB24. I've got two more training courses starting this week, so I'm really busy at the moment. <laughs> so my, I think since I started, since I saw you last, I started my practitioner mastery, you know, so that's 15 months. And then I've got my kinesiology for the home starting tomorrow and kinesiology foundations later in the week. <laughs> so. Well, just in case you haven't been locked to do it. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay, so something about that is affecting your sympathetic nervous system. So when your sympathetic nervous system is ramped up, it switches off your rest and digest. So you don't rest and sleep as easily, you don't digest as easily. Right. Hmm. So this is linked in with the survival pattern that's running. So what we'll do, we'll go in and check which organs are being affected. Right, so the energy in here is the energy of the pericardium it's affected very much by the etheric layer of everything. Right. So, so is your heart energy. So is your stomach energy. So is your large intestine energy. Right, okay, just sort of looking where that is on the five element chart. So your adrenals were exhausted and they can be affecting your heart and circulation of your sex organs, that pericardium meridian, as well as your stomach. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting, whereas the others are all showing up okay, so it's very much along that fire element. So the fire element, heart and small intestine communicate and the circulation of the sex organs and triple heater, which is your thyroid and adrenals. There's a big connection. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Hmm. Okay, none of my usual so celestial circuit, no? No, 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 no. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, hello. Right, so it's the bone chakra connection that we need to look at. So what am I looking at? Am I looking at an area of pain at the moment? Am I 
So can you feel anything in your body at the moment? Anything has discomfort in it? No. If you were to have pain in the middle of the night, is it mainly your lower legs? The shins? Lower legs, shins, ankles. Yeah, right. Both sides? Yeah, mainly the left, but both sides. And at the moment, if I flex my left toes, uh, they are behind everything else. Um, right, because on the left side, it's about following through with things you do for yourself. Moving forward, you need decisions. And, and incentive. Your brain needs incentive to move forward at the moment. What the hell does that mean? Means you need the carrot and the stick. So if you're not getting anything out of it immediately, your body's not going to bother. Yes, yeah, so there's a lack of... Um, incentive within your brain to move forward knowing you're going to get there when you're not getting any achievement each time you do something. But then your little tootsies, your little feet are about be the love that you are. <laughs> the what? Be the love that you are. Hmm. Yeah, so it's that sort of energy. So that's that's the sort of energy in there. I'll send you a photo of that on your phone. You know, with those bones on your left and your right. But what I'll do is stack those in. And does it ache? What does it do, Roy? Do the legs ache? Well, it's more topical. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can put my fingers in and it feels deeper. But if I'm just doing yeah, that sort, that's tender. Wow, that's tender. Um, yeah, so normally I'm just laying in bed and it feels topical. Heat and tender. Yeah, then Sweet and Tim with an old pain and punishment circuit. Pain and punishment. So once again, if you go and you deal with another layer of your crap, then your body goes, do I like this? Do I hate this? Let's go hide in your survival again. something else let's go have a look at your survival again none of those okay so going into your reticular activating system So this is noradrenaline, so your body assuming life's going to be stressful forever, creating vigilance in your nervous system. So the nervous system, and of course that goes out to our etheric layers, expectation. Do you feel it? You know, if you walk in a room and someone's in a bad mood, do you feel it? Uh, yeah, trouble is, on the outside, I don't feel it, but on the inside, Right, interesting. Hmm. So you, yeah.
So that you're sort of fine until later on? You're fine until later on? Um, well, I get distracted. Okay. Because if I run into a quick situation, I'll just respond. It's easy to respond like, I'm going to fix it. Okay, so this is the next layer of the reticular activating system, the first hormone that's showing up is acetylcholine. That's like the triple shot of coffee that can whip through your body sometimes. And that one shuts down your throat chakra, interestingly enough. Ah. Mm. Hmm. I was listening to a naturopath from America the other day who said that if people can only, you know, the Renew or the ASEA water, if people can only afford one, then she gets them to do a tube per week and it's equivalent to a really big dose of the, the molecules internally. I haven't had that confirmed by Mandy yet. So that one, so this is the acetylcholine combo with the RAS. So this one is switching off your pleasure and reward centers. So when you've got the triple shot of coffee, it switches off your ability just to relax and enjoy. But it does that deliberately so that you don't relax and enjoy while you get pounced by the tiger. It's all about the tiger. I love that song. I the tiger? No, I know. And my miss. Oh, I love Lay Miss. Yeah. And the tigers come at night. Hmm. I'll have to look that one up. That one's not immediately. coming to me. You've seen it live? I've seen uh, the show, the yeah. stage show, yeah. and the movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, they have me to see the movie. I love it. Yeah. And when I saw the show, I can't remember who was singing who... Um, Did you see the recent one with Hugh Jackman or the one no, back in no. 20, uh, maybe, was it 1998 or something was the previous one? Um, no, no, it was, he was singing in his cell. Oh, yeah? And I'm trying to remember the song. And I thought, that's it, I've had my money's worth already. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. amazing, isn't it? I love it. Mum hated it with a passion because when she was at convent with the nuns, they made them read it in French. And of course, it's a big fat bloody book. So she, she after that, she decided, you know, if anyone made her ever want to go see Les Mis, she would tell them to stick it where the sun don't shine. Yeah. That would be a bit tedious, I would imagine. I should too, so. Once again, let's go and have a look. And hold, beautiful. Recheck those adrenals and hold, and hold, good. Check those alarm points.
Beautiful. So all those are theric layers of the alarm points, which is access to different organs in the body. Right. So they're all showing up as being balanced now as well. So uh, let me ask, we've got a couple more minutes. So let me just ask if there's any, any figure eight combos we need to balance. Um, okay, so this is a little bit of a different thing. Those ones, okay. Those ones, okay. Okay, so the only one that, so even though they're all balancing now, now I'm going to put in the beginning and end points of gallbladder and liver. Just trust me. So basically, liver energy is about suppressed rage, anger, frustration. Yeah. Mm. And then gallbladder energy is to do with externalized rage, anger, frustration. That's right. So eyes and right. So beginning and end point. And beginning and end point of the liver. And hold. And hold. Yeah, right. So that connection from liver to gallbladder energy is in third stage stress so is it halted is it blocked is it running backwards it's running backwards so we need to do something to fix that so firstly is there an amygdala thing yes there is so i'll hold the amygdala point while i'm running the liver meridian trying to wake up that combination of energy flows which probably means no surprise at some stage in your life you were pretty pissed off about something. Uh-huh. <laughs> and your brain tries to run away from it. So sometimes the meridians run backwards, but what it does is it like it takes the charge out of your cells. Yeah. So they're just not regenerating as fast as they should. There's a guy called, there's a doctor Actually, I'll have to find out from David Nixon what his name is. But we discovered him a few months ago when I was teaching Kinesiology Foundations. And he had machines going back 20 years ago that could measure the electrical circuitry within muscles. So Dr. Nixon started listening to them all saying, that's the terminology we need to use. It's all about electricity in the muscles and that's what drives the meridians and charges our body. And you get plenty of outdoor stuff, so you're getting plenty of, you know, good, good solid nature. But sometimes this emotional gear is just blocked. So let's have a look again. So beginning and end, beginning and end. Okay. And hold. And hold. Right, so we've gone from third stage stress to second stage stress. Wow. We're getting there. Okay, so once it, they're both escape, submission, freeze, wanting to run away rather than feel that rage, anger, frustration. Ah. So your brain wants to run away, not interested. Because, you know, you're generally, like even if you feel like shit, you're generally pretty happy, yeah. outgoing, yes. and, um, you know, you're a good human. Yeah. Yeah. Like a bit of bullshit, you're fine. Ah, we all like a bit of bullshit. <laughs> Let's check the next layer. And 
hold. And hold. Beautiful. And hold. Maybe his name's Dr. Tennant. Dr. Dr. Yeah, maybe David Tennant. Anyway, when I listen to this half hour of his stuff about the muscles and meridians and stuff, I'm like, man, I love it when doctors talk kinesiology language. And as he was talking about the meridians, like, for example, the gallbladder meridian, which is a huge meridian. It does this whole whirly-curly thing up here, and it comes down through here. Like, he talks about how those meridians weave in and around organs, and they're part of the neural network of the... Anyway, he's pretty cool. David Tennant. That might be his name. That might be a lie, but it might be his name. It's a lie. <laughs> Because he wrote Sky Blue, right? Okay. Ah, uh, right. ADHD. I'm sure his last name's Tennant. No, I'm not sure of anything. I'll find out. I'll, I'm not sure. But David Tennant wrote Well, he was, so this will, he was an ophthalmologist um, back like 50 um, years ago, and he got damaged because he believes that he got some form of, um, some sort of my, um, encephalomyelitis and um, he basically injured himself so much by getting an infection from someone he was working on doing ophthalmology that he then had like, like a chronic fatigue, um, ME sort of thing and he took years and that's when he thought, okay, well medical, medical stuff isn't helping me. So he started researching and found all this other energy stuff in the body. So when he was doing this particular lecture, that if I can find it, I'll send it to you, because it's pretty good fun to listen to. Uh, he was saying how... Oh, he, he said, now what state am I in? Because he had to work out his credentials for the state he was in so that he knew how to introduce himself, because it depends where he is in the US as opposed to what he's allowed to say. I know, it's... It's so much fun, isn't it? I mean, we're just as crazy in Australia, but... Yeah. yeah. Hold up for me. And hold. 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 When I was learning uh, frequency-specific microcurrent, that, those little gadgets, with Dr. Carol McMakin about 15 years, similar thing because there are about, I don't know, say 40 people in the room or something like that. And every time she went to answer a question, she had to ask them what state they were in so she could answer specifically for them, because there were people from all over the states. So in some states at the time, chiropractors are, uh, are basically doctors, you know, so they can do internal exams and all sorts of stuff. Wow. So she would be saying, well, for you, what you can do is blah, 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 blah. But for someone else in another part of the, yeah, she would have to say, yeah, no, nah, not in the state of yada, yada, yada. As I was from Australia, she had no idea. I was the only Aussie there. And I was the only kinesiologist. Mm. I, think, uh, I wasn't the only naturopath. There were two other naturopaths there. That was good fun. Okay. This is the new program for this body now in the near future. The old program for this body is no longer necessary now in the future. So, liver gallbladder, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, right. Because also they did not show up, you know, initially, not that you'll probably remember, but initially when I was checking all of your alarm points, the ones that showed up were heart, small intestine, triple heater, circulation of the sex. Liver gallbladder, which was hiding because it didn't show up until I asked it specifically, that feeds energy into the next element where all of those are. So we had to clear up the other ones first and then the liver gallbladder showed up. But interesting, it was a very specific question I had to ask it for it to show up. I love experimenting, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Roy.